Hi everyone, I'm Anne here from Anne Makes. Thank you for uh, stopping by. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I would so appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button below. And also follow me at my blog and on Google Plus at annemakes.blogspot.com. It is my blog where I share a lot of information there. There are lots of tips and tricks, how-tos, DIYs, project tutorials, links to other websites and other videos that I have made for uh, several companies in the crafting industry. So, but today we are going to view, if you stay tuned, my Dollar Tree haul from yesterday. Yes, I went back to Dollar Tree yesterday. I also stopped at Dollarama. I just finished shooting that video. I also finished shooting a Happy Meal video from Cricut. So a lot of video stuff going on today. I'm trying to get it as much done as possible because I have a lot of projects going on. So without further ado, here is my Dollar Tree haul. So I was surprised to find these. I did not know about these. They are uh, flickering flame LED taper candles that require two AAA batteries. Apparently they will last up to 240 hours. And they look, if you don't look too close, they look pretty real. So I thought these would be a safe alternative to uh, the real long tapered candles. And I say that because I have a cat <laughs> and uh, she loves to jump onto things and sometimes we like to have some candles on our dining room table and we can't always be there every second and uh, she has been known to jump on the table when we're not looking and knock things over and, I'm a, and now I, I, I will feel better knowing that if I do have candles on the table and I do have to step away for a few seconds, that if she does jump on the table, she will not knock over fire and set my house on fire. So uh, this will be a safe alternative. I got some uh, cute Christmas decor at this Dollar Tree that I went to. I picked up this lovely sprig here with these little berries. These are a pretty good price. I mean, they're they're nicely made. They don't look too fake. And, you know, how can you go wrong for $1.25? Or if in the U.S., they're a dollar. The other lovely little sprig I picked up, or is that what they call it? No, this is a decorative clip. This one has a little clip. Is this one with the cute little bird on it. Little finch here, which we do have here. We have a lot of these little birds. And we do have trees with berries, and we have pine trees with pine cones. So uh, this is very much just like our outdoors, but I thought this was would be pretty inside. And this bird will will not tempt my cat. Uh, the last time I was at Dollar Tree, I I purchased a 15 inch white branchy I call them uh, wreath. And yesterday when I went to this other Dollar Tree, they also had them in 18 inch. So I picked up another 15 inch and now I have this 18 inch. So I'm thinking if maybe I'll make a snowman out of the three of these, maybe, I'm not sure. So uh, I have them because I think they're a really good deal uh, at Dollar Tree and they've got many crafting possibilities. Speaking of my crafting, DIYs. I got this package of 12 count of ornaments that come in this sparkly white and sparkly kind of whitish gold. And I got the tube of 15, so these are a little bit smaller. Uh, what I'm showing you is probably going to end up on some uh, Christmas DIYs with Dollar Tree products uh, for some posts and videos that I need to get going this week and have done before the end of October. So stay tuned for that because I do intend on posting those. I picked up, the, now back to Halloween, I got this floor wall decor of the Zombersons family portrait. <laughs> The Zombersons, the Sitting Dead. I just thought how appropriate since I'm a fan of the show The Walking Dead. 
and I just thought this would be really cute to have in uh, I, our entrance way <laughs> for this coming Halloween. I might actually put it in a frame. I just think it's really, really funny. I got that. Now, I was watching a Crafty Share Cupcake and in my Dollarama haul that I just filmed, and I can, I'll try to remember to link that, I bought rice. And be, and I didn't find socks there that would work for my for the project, but I found these socks at Dollar Tree for my future sn sock snowmen that I uh, think I will be making um, after watching Crafty Share Cupcakes how to video. So if you're interested in that, go check it out. And these are really really soft and cushy, so I thought that's what I got those for another project. I picked up these pads of 36 sheets of mini deco paper. Uh, I wasn't sure if I already had them, and maybe I do, but I go through so much paper that I didn't mind getting more. So I got this one, this color, and these are the patterns inside. Kind of summery colors, a little faded summery colors. And these ones are more like festive bright colors and then there's this blue one here blue patterns and pink this is what my store has so I got one of each I purchased this notebook. I thought the cover was pretty. It says enjoy life. Uh, I thought this makes a nice little gift to give to someone or it's if I don't end up giving it I'll I know I'll end up using it somewhere uh, somehow because I'm always writing stuff down. This uh, is some I had not seen this design um before these are the Main Street Wall Creations jumbo, jumbo stickers. I don't know if I just missed them all together, and there was only one of these at uh, the Dollar Tree I was at yesterday. So I got them. I just thought these were really beautiful looking feathers, and I I like to use these in paper crafting projects. Um, I haven't put any of these on any walls, but like I said, I do like to use these as stickers. I just thought they were colors are really pretty. Got a package of the six envelopes, the peel and seal ones, just a size that I was needing. So it's pretty good. You get six of these in here. And uh, it is summery looking, but I thought it was very pretty too. Uh, the Jot brand clipboard, I just thought this was a really, really pretty design. But uh, here's the thing. I thought it's too the, the designs on this part and this is a part basically that you're gonna get cover up with your you know your papers so you don't see much of the design and then the back is like that so I don't know I just thought yeah that's really cute like that but it would be nice if there was something on the back too because that's the side that people see because usually if you're walking around with a clipboard that's the side that shows I don't know just a thought I'll probably decorate it with something. So I wanted to get more of that tape that I showed you that I did a review on those tape runners, those red tape runners that I got at my usual Dollar Tree. And this Dollar Tree didn't have any, so I was a little bummed out. And But they do have the Scotch brand 3M double-sided tapes. And these are, are a good price at a dollar or a dollar twenty-five for us here in Canada. But just so you know, they are actually about half the amount that you get in the red tape runner. So you definitely get a lot more for your money by buying the the other tape runner. Uh, but just so you know that this is, is a very good brand and it does work very well. But, uh, yeah, I, I hope i not too late the next time I go back to my Dollar Tree to get more tape runners. Uh, because I really think those were a good buy. Some more Halloween stuff. I got the tape, the Fright Tape. This one says Zombie. 
zombie crossing. I just thought it would be appropriate to have this with my zombie family picture here. <laughs> Probably with my little cemetery outside my front door. I'm weird. Got this package of Halloween sequins. I just thought you'd get quite a lot in here for for your money. That's a pretty good deal. So got those. Picked up this package of zipper seal bags. There are 40 in here. I just liked this color, this print. That. I was in need of some nail files, so I got this sassy chic emery boards. There's two in here. Got that. I picked up a gold colored chalk writer mar marker. I did not have any in gold, so I thought I would check this out. And I'm trying to be careful with my my sticker thing. So, but I did see these ones, and I thought these were really cute. Uh, puffy little tiny bow stickers and I just thought these are really cute to add to uh, other images or other stickers to add little bows to you know put a little bow in a little dog's head or a cat <laughs> so I got I got two packages of these because I thought they were very cute and I could use them for different things this Dollar Tree had a lot of these cones they didn't have any of these at my Dollar Tree but uh these are great for Christmas crafting DIYs. I have, so I got the different sizes that they had. This is the other size. And they have the three pack of the small ones. So I got all of these. And I do a lot of things with these for crafting DIYs. And if you stay tuned and come back and go see my blog, you may see uh, what I'm going to do with these cones. I picked up a few decorations. I got these little uh, white trees, dangling ornament trees. I probably will not put these in my Christmas tree, but I will, uh, I have a, an idea to use these in uh, another Christmas crafting DIY. I also got these little ornaments that look like little disco balls. I got these keychains, these fuzzy ball keychains, and uh, afterwards I went to Dollarama and they had some fuzzy key ball chains, but they were much bigger, much bigger in size, and they have a lobster claw clip. But uh, at Dollar Tree, I got one in this lovely shade of pink, gray, white, and black. I also picked up uh, two packages of these push pins. These are like round, little brown balls, push pins. And I got these because I, th I like to use these as eyes on little characters. And I might use these on the sock snowman that I will be making. Oh, and they're a pretty good buy because you get 80 in here. I picked up a package of this couture ink tape, uh, fashion tape. Uh, you get like how much do you get? You get over a meter on each. It's not a bad deal, and they're just very decorative. And finally, the last item I wanted to share with you is this Santa bucket, little bucket. Uh, great for putting a small plant in, great for putting candy as gift. Uh, there's a lot of things that you can do with this, and I just think it's really, really adorable. It's nice, it's metal, and it looks like the bottom of Santa. And that's it for this Dollar Tree haul. I hope I made it quick enough for you, and I hope you liked it. So if you did, please like it, comment, share. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and please follow me at annemakes.blogspot.com. I hope you're having a great week. Please take care of yourself and I'll see you later. Bye.